Woof. Here you go. This is it. Came out yesterday. Uh, New Year's celebration, dockyard brawls, and other features. So they've prepped a bunch of activities. So let's see what we got. So they're going to have a dockyard for the German Tier 9 cruiser, cruiser Admiral Schroeder. So we're going to get Schrodinger's boat um, here for the dockyard. 30 phases. Okay. Um... When you get to phase 19, you'll get the British Tier 7 battleship Renown 44, which should be slightly better than the Renown at Tier 6. Here is a picture of the dockyard. Here's a picture of the Adder Admiral Schrodinger. Um, what else have we got? Carol Clash. Two teams of Santas from North and South compete to deliver gifts. So I guess you'll be have to pick a team to be on, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, looks like we got some camos for Conky, for Howland. Um, what else have we got? You'll get frosty tokens, which can be exchanged for New Year commanders, containers with permanent camos, and various other items. Um, Following items added to the game to honor the new year. Themed commanders with unique voice acting. Papa Noel for Spanish ships. Papa Noel for Panamanian. Pirate Santa for Commonwealth ships. Scrooge Nicholson for British ships. Those ought to be interesting voiceovers. Interested to actually hear those. Uh, got some other flags and stuff that you can earn. And then festive rewards. Traditional New Year rewards for battle results on all ships starting from Tier 5. So let's see what you're going to get. For super ships, you're going to get research points. That's interesting. Uh, for Tier 10 ships, you're going to get New Year's certificates, uh, which I'm guessing you can, yeah, you can exchange for Santa's gifts or big gifts or mayor gifts. Okay, kind of like last year. Tiers 8 to 9, you're going to get steel. Tiers 5 to 7, you're going to get 750 coal for each game you played. So there you go. What else are we doing? The Fjord's port was decorated and the appearance of the Santa's gift containers was updated. Okay. Wow, there's Santa right there in the middle of the town. Santa City. Very interesting. We have fjords. I guess this is our containers or little houses. All right, well, let's see what happens next. We've got brawls. Um, five separate brawls. So the first one, December 12th, 19th, 5v5 tier 7. You can have up to three battleships, five cruisers, or three DDs. Um, second brawl, 1v1 tier 8 battleships. Third brawl, 1v1 tier 9 cruisers. Fourth brawl, 5v5 tier 10 cruisers. And fifth brawl, 1v1 on tier 10 aircraft carriers. Interesting. Bounty event. Okay. So what kind of bounty event are we going to have? So there'll be, you can volunteer for this to be whatever it is that people are trying to hunt down. Um, what do you got? So it says players will receive a special bounty mission and will be able to earn rewards for completing it. Those who sink a bounty in battle will receive a commemorative search and destroy achievement. Conditions of the bounty missions may change from event to event. So you can apply to do that. And it uh, doesn't say what you'll be. If it's a sink the Santa or what it's going to be. I'm not really sure there. I'm either missing it or it's not really telling us. Tutorial tasks for new players. In the Waterlight beginning, I told you we're working on training tasks for new players. 
adding introductory missions in a test format. Okay, so it looks like they're kind of trying to help train new players so that everybody's not a potato like me. We'll see. Uh, map changes. At the beginning of a battle, the distribution of ships on the flanks and in the center of the map will become more even between teams. Submarines will spawn closer to the opposite side of the map more often uh, and more often on the flanks. Okay, I don't know whether to be happy about that or not. So we're getting meritorious service and pioneer patches and pioneer expendable camouflage. There it is. Interesting looking camo. The super test and deserved ST camouflages have been updated. Portraits of standard tank commanders have been updated. Due to separation of visual elements and economic bonuses, the contents of the Christmas and New Year in the Navy container have been updated. So they've replaced various things in there. Um, 40 new ships have been added to the Santa's gift, big gift, mega gift containers. Wow. Wow. Okay, there's your list. Get a list of everything there. The contents of the super container uh, have been updated. The ship in Petra Nikolai has been removed and 22 new ships added. So here's some other things. Hmm. They're not taking out the kamikaze, but there's a, a forest black, or I mean a black or a forest Sherman. Uh, so you got things to get there. Contents of the containers and special containers, premium five, premium six, premium seven, premium eight, and premium nine ship have been updated accordingly. So, okay, updated the appearance of some of the flags and they list what all those are. So that looks like that's everything. Um, yeah, scrolling back to the top, scrolling slowly. Um, that's interesting. So the dockyard, not sure, you know, how the Renown uh, or the Admiral Schroeder will be, but hey, you know, give me a chance to get a ship. That's all you can do. Okay. I'm just looking to see some of So I'm not sure about the Carol Clash. Um, got some new <clears throat> camos. I'm just kind of recapping here. Best of rewards is what we all look forward to. Get our Santa's gifts, our steel, and our coal. And the brawls. So we know we've got 1v1 tier 8 battleships. Tier 9 cruisers and then tier 10 aircraft carriers. That's well, you know what? If you're going to do a 1v1, there's where you can let your carriers participate. Let them do 1v1. Bounty event. Map changes. I think you know you got a list of permanent ships or a or a premium ships in there. So you can peruse those, but very interesting stuff. It's always interesting around the first of the year, and much like everybody else, I look forward to the Santa containers so you can soak up some of those premium ships you don't have if that's what you're looking to do. Uh, we can do some economics comparisons. I know last year, any ship, any premium ship that was available for something like under 22 bucks, you're better off buying the ship than buying the the Santa containers bundles based on how many ships you get out of a bundle of 20. Um, it's uh, something that uh, a, a good tactic to employ, you know, some of those tier five ships. Now you're just better buying them outright. And then that way the Santa containers will just give you the higher tier. That's what we're really looking for. So uh, that's it for blogs. Lots, lots, lots in the development blogs, and that's it. So it's time to stop talking about blogs and go play some warships.
Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see notifications of future videos, just ring the bell. Until next time, Tater Dog says, woof.